Okay, so welcome back. Um, remember in the last video we figured out what the tension in this cable was and what the force P, or we, we used the pressure force to figure out what T is. So the important thing is we figured out what T is, and T was 12,600 or 12,760.4 newtons. Now, remember the problem was asking, what's what's the mass of this block? Right? It's a one diameter cylindrical mass, and it's it's floating one meter above the ground here, and it's submerged. It's completely submerged underwater. Um, and I'll I'll just put tension here in the rope or in this cable is equal to, what did we say? It was equal to 12,760.4 newtons, right? So let's, let's try to figure that out. Again, very first thing, you want to draw is a free body diagram. Now we're going to draw a free body diagram of this block, right? The block has a weight, we'll call it W. It also has the tension in the cable and it also has a buoyant force, right? Because it's submerged underwater and it's displacing that much amount of water. That amount of water, that amount of water's weight is equal to the buoyant force pushing up against the block, right? Remember we said this distance, well we didn't say, but we can figure out that since this is 2.5 meters high, the water, and this is one meter above the ground, we can say 2.5 minus 1 is the height of the block, which is 1.5 meters. So that's how high it is. All right? And I'll say this is y, this is x, this is positive. That's just our coordinate system, right? So what we can um, do next is maybe do summation of forces in the y direction is equal to 0, right? In the up and down direction. So we have the tension minus the weight plus the buoyant force is equal to zero. And we know that the buoyant force is equal to the volume of the water displaced or that's equal to the volume of the block, right? Because it's completely submerged. If it's completely submerged, that means the volume of the object is equal to the volume of the water displaced times the specific weight of the liquid displaced. In this case, it's water. So we know specific weight for water is 9,800 newton per meter cube, right, in metric. And of course, U.S. customary, it's 62.4 pound per foot cube. But this is equal to zero. So the tension we said was 12,760.4 newtons minus the weight. We don't know the weight yet. Um, plus the volume of that block um, times gamma, which is 9,800 newton per meter cubed, is equal to zero. Okay. Well, the volume. Well, let's, let's figure out the volume of this uh, cylindrical block-shaped thing. The volume, it's, it's a cylinder, and you know how to find the, the volume of a cylinder, right? It's, it's pi times 4 times the diameter squared times the height, right? right this, gives, this right here gives us the cross, the area of the circular part, and the circular part's area times the height is the volume. And we figure out that volume is about 1.1781 meters cubed. And that's the volume. That's the volume of this, um, this cylindrical block thing, right? And if we plug this back into this equation, well, let, let's rewrite this equation a little bit. Adjust my papers here. I'll, I'll move the diagram up there. We can say, let me rewrite this formula. We'll have 12,760.4 minus weight. And weight is equal to the weight of the block, right? Weight is equal to mass times gravity. So we'll say mass times gravity plus the volume 
which is 1.1781 meters cubed times 9800 meter cubed is equal to um, zero, right? And, and gravity, we know gravity is equal to, uh, let me see if I can squeeze that, uh, no I can't, 9.81 meters per second squared, right? And that's just gravity. So we know the tension, um, we know the gravity, we know the volume, we know the specific weight of water, and all that's equal to zero. We plug in gravity, we solve for M, and we get the mass is about 2478 kilograms. So the mass is 2000, um, 2400, about 2480 kilograms, right? And that's the mass of the block. So, just a quick review, we used the Gates free body diagram, we used the pressure distribution, we used the force of that pressure distribution to find the tension by taking the sum of moments about A, and once we found tension, we drew the free body diagram of this block here, and we used our concepts of buoyant force, and we said that the volume of the block is equal to the volume of the water displaced because the block is completely submerged underwater, right? If it was only halfway submerged, then only half of the volume would be equal to half, or the amount of water displaced, right? Because well, it's only halfway submerged. So we used our buoyant force to figure out what the mass of the block is, and that was uh, about 2480 kilograms.